Welcome to the channel, guys. Welcome to the hair experience. I am Curtis, your guide to get luxurious hair back on your head for not a lot of money, no surgeries, no pesky pills. Say it again, Curtis. Anyways, um, I want to, oh, duh. Um, the eBooks are out, guys. They're out there. They will help you through the process from the mental, emotional, physical, attachment, reattachment, cleaning, everything from start to finish, everything to do with getting this done. Um, MyHairExperience.com is our website. Um, you can click on order hair there and it will direct you to hair by MHE. Just wanted to keep the two separate. And um, use coupon code MHE20 on the website there to save 20% off of your hair unit. Doesn't qualify for starter kits. There's really no, no way to do that on those. So what are you talking about today, Curtis? Um, I am talking about beginners. How do I get started? And I'm going to put this video right at the top of my FAQs on my website on my hair or on uh, um, hairbymhe.com right at the top of the FAQs. How do I get started? Link. Click it. Um, if you've obviously you're here already so you probably already either clicked it or um, saw the video. Anyways I want to get you you guys that are new to this because this is the most frequently asked question that I get how do I begin? I'm going to talk about Hair by MHE, obviously, because that's my company. Um, but this is going to be kind of generic across the board. Um, so it's not just going to be... You're, you're going to see pop-ups in the video that will show you different things on um, ordering on our website. But it will probably be pretty generic somewhat from website to website. So we're going to get started. All right, You're new. You want to do this but you just don't know how, and I have 290 some videos out there, and you don't wanna go through that whole process of, of reading or watching all of those videos, but you really need to, guys. The free information is out there. Education is key. Um, so we're gonna get started. So if you go to hairbymhe.com and you go to the website, it's gonna bring up, it's gonna bring up, um, the main page, you're going to see the links at the very top of the page. You'll see FAQs. Definitely go through those FAQs first and just read around. You know, that way you can understand what a template is. You can understand what a hair sample is. There's video links attached to each one of those. So what you're going to do from that point, now that you're on the website, you'll see shop at the top. Order hair is right below it. You'll click on order hair. Once you're into order hair, you're going to see four different base options and a custom option. You're going to see the InvisiSkin system, which is our 0.03 millimeter polyurethane based unit. You're going to see the InvisiLace unit, which is our Superfine Swiss Lace unit. You will see the Super Lace, which is going to be our French Lace based unit, made not for exposed hairlines. And then you'll see Hybrid Lace, which is the last one. That is going to be a French laced base unit with a polyurethane back border for um, easier cleanup on your tape. But understand on that unit, guys, that unit comes in an 8x10 stock size. And if you order, let's say you ship us our temp your template, which we'll get to here in a second, and your template is only 5x7, you're going to cut a lot of that polyurethane border off that back edge. So you'll only be left with very little of it. So just keep that in mind when you order the hybrid lace. So let's get started, all right? Now you're at your options, okay? Your most universal unit is going to be a super fine Swiss lace. Our product's called Invisalace. It'll go up, it'll go down, it'll part left, it'll part right. It's got the same, um, same hairline that I created is across the board on all four of our units that we offer. Our hairline, our gradiated look, our temporal precision, all that stuff that I personally created in our unit is gonna be across the board but we're just gonna to go to Invisalace for now. Each, each base is gonna be kind of your picking, okay? Each one of the base materials, you're gonna to have to explore, but the Invisalace, the Swiss Lace unit, is the best place to start for the most versatile options. All right, so you've clicked on that now, and you're gonna see random pop-ups up here. You've clicked on that now, and now you're gonna see things like color type, or color, gray percentage, template cut, yes, um, and starter kit options below that. Your color, guys, there's, a, there's another place on the top menu, the top bar, that shows you the colors. 
Your color really needs to be selected. Now, I don't know what other companies do, but I do this at no charge. Um, mail in a color sample, okay? If, you, if you've had a unit before, all right, let, let's say you come from another company and you wanna to come to us, or you come from one other company and you're going to somebody else. Not all of those colors are universal across the board. Typically colors one through three in any variation of those three, those colors, one, a 1A, a 1B, a 1C, a two and a three are going to be 90% universal between any manufacturer out there, okay? Four and up is going to vary. That's very important. So a five with me might not be a five with another company or vice versa. That's very important. A hair sample is key. So what you're, what you're gonna see in the drop down menu, you're only gonna see about eight different options or 10 different options. For one big reason is our website doesn't allow for that many variants in that drop down box. So if you look down in the description below, you will see all of the available colors that are down there, okay? If you know your color already and you're very confident with it, you'll see at the very bottom it says, um, other color listed, please email me. Choose that link with us, that way I know to reach out to you directly and ask what your color is. I do that with everybody who ever chooses that choice. So let's just say you've ordered, let's just go through it now. You're not familiar with your color, you don't wanna risk it, go down to the second one from the bottom, I believe it is, and it says, I will mail in a color sample, okay? Check that box. That way I know that I'm waiting on a color sample from you so I can match it here. And once I get it, what I personally do is I reach out to you directly. Make sure you include your name, address, phone number, order number, and uh, phone contact, if I didn't say that. I'm gonna reach out to you via text and phone, and we're gonna go over that sample together. I'm gonna text you photos of what I see with your sample against our sample so that we match it as best as possible. Okay, so we've, we've gotten our, figured out our color there, okay? Now we're gonna go over to the um, gray percentage. This is kind of a crapshoot, guys, um, because some people have more grays on the sides and then they do the top, or some people have more gray on the top than they do on the sides. Just remember the area, the affected area that you're going to cover is the area in question, okay? So if you've got what looks like 10% gray on the top already, then we need to try to match that. So. You have two options at that point. If you're mailing a color sample to us, you can choose no gray. You can choose 30% gray, it doesn't matter. When I get the sample, I'm gonna analyze the sample here against my samples, and then we're going to decide, or you're going to decide and tell me, hey, you know, I want X amount of percentage in that unit. They go in 10% increments. Some don't have like 30%, some don't have 50%, some just don't have you know 10 to 100, it just doesn't work that way. What you're really wanting to do, if you're gonna choose it yourself, okay, let's just say you're a color three and you know you're a color three, but you think you might be 10 or 20% gray, your safest bet is to start with 10, okay? And if you don't like 10, it's not gonna look bad. But if you get 30 and you're really only 10, it's probably not gonna look so good. If, so you guys can understand what I'm saying there. So really just focus on trying to stay you know, remotely below where you think you are, um, or as close to as you think. Um, what's next? Okay, now we've figured out the gray. we figured out the color and the gray. Now you're gonna see another box at the bottom that says template cut yes or no and this is going to be generic across everybody but i'm just talking about mhe on this one so template cut yes or no have you created your template yes are you going to mail us your template and you want us to cut the units base down that comes stock eight by ten we cut that unit base down to the template that you send us so if you choose template cut no you're going to get a stock eight by ten unit just out of the box, inspected by us, and shipped to you. If you choose template cut yes, I know that I'm waiting on a template from you. Okay, so if you've got hair color in there that says I will mail you a color sample and template cut yes, checked. I know that I am waiting for a hair sample and a template to come in the mail from you. Okay, once you, once you place an order, you will get an email right afterwards and it will give you a form to fill out. Fill out, <coughs> wow, got cough in there. 
fill out that form with your name, address, etc. Or you can just put your name, address, phone number, order number, all that stuff inside um, the package when you ship it to us. So template cut, yes or no, um, means we are going to cut the template, the base material that it comes down to your template size. Okay? I think somebody's at the door. No, maybe not. So we're going to cut it down to size for you based on your template. Don't be so concerned with the hairline. So don't be concerned so much with the hairline because the hairline actually that we we engineered, we designed, is going to be the hairline that comes on your unit. So when, when you're making that template, don't be super concerned with how it looks because we're going to use the predetermined hairline that we created. Only thing we're really going to use out of that template based on size for the front is going to be the total length from the front to the back and the back contour. So we've got the color down, we've got the gray down, we have got, oh yeah, and, and the grays. The variant boxes only choose one through 30, okay? 30% 30 maximum, but we can go way past that. So if you have a gray request um, that's past that, shoot me a text, an email, what have you, or when you're going to check out, there's actually a note section down there in the checkout box that says, hey, Curtis, I want 60% gray, it wasn't listed, or you can also choose other color listed, please email me and I'll know to reach out to you. Um, that's gonna be the same across any base material that you do. That's gonna be the same across any manufacturer that you go with or any um, company like MHE that you go with to choose to do this. This isn't just geared towards us, but I'm just using our website as the, the variable here. Um, and then you'll go down to the bottom. You can check starter kit, yes, um, for the Ghost Bond Platinum or starter kit for the Clear Bond. They're exactly the same kit. The shampoo, conditioner, leave-in conditioner, cotton balls, rubbing alcohol, comb, brush, scalp protector, bond, and the hairband are all in the kit together. The only variable is the clear bond or the ghost bond. Okay, the ghost bond costs us more. That's why it's $10 more than the clear bond. You can check either one of those boxes. Now, 99% of ev everything in that kit is universal to everybody. It should work for everyone other than the bond. Like I've always said before, you're gonna try multiple different bonds to find that perfect one for you. It's just part of it, I guess. So um, now that we've gotten that far, um, let's see what else there is. Knowledge. Knowledge is everything, okay? The books, the video ebook, the written ebook, or just binge watch my YouTube. There's not all the same content between the two. Um, so you gotta, you gotta be willing to invest a little bit into this, guys, to get the quality stuff, to get the quality information. I'm not saying that buy my book, it's the best thing ever, that's not what I'm saying. But if, if you're gonna go into this with not caring to have the education behind it, then don't bother doing it. Um, I just want it to turn out perfect for you guys. So that's really what I've got. Um, hopefully this guides you a little bit through the process. Um, the skin unit, um, the skin unit has a fantastic hairline, so does the uh, Invisalace. The super fine, fr uh, the French lace, I'm sorry, the French lace unit is engineered not to have an exposed hairline. And the hybrid lace is a French lace base unit engineered not to have an exposed hairline. You can, but it's just, there's more, we built those units to be more durable, to last longer. Um, we'll go on to the next part. Um, the super thin skin, um, your time that you're going to be able to use that, the factory says six to eight weeks, so that's one and a half to two months. I typically see results of nine to 14 weeks, depending on the user. Um, the Swiss lace unit should last you around three months, and also the French lace unit should last you about three months. Um, that's a very generic term. All of the variable is the user, the client you, me, how we treat it, how rough we are on it, and things like that. So I think that's really all I've got. If you're going to get a unit from anywhere, you need the right tools for the job. So that's why I developed the starter kit. Everything in the starter kit was developed just for hair replacement. Don't go to Walmart and get anything that's gonna be on the shelf there. More than likely it's, it's hot garbage. I'm not saying all those products are bad, that's not what I'm saying, but you really need something for chemically processed hair. Um, <clears throat> what else is there? That's really all there is to getting started. Once we get the color down, you get your template done, which there's another video about the template, just scroll down further into the, the FAQs on the website. 
Um, get them to us, the address is in the FAQs as well. Um, make sure you have an order in place before you do that because we can't process hair samples or templates without an order in place because your name doesn't exist to us um, without an order in place. Once you place an order, then your whole profile is created. Your name, address, your phone number, everything is right there. So I can make notes, received template, received hair, hair sample, color number four. I can make those notes and for you, um, that way we can always refer back to them. If you send us a template, you're gonna wanna make two templates. So duplicate the template that you have made to keep one at home and then we keep one. That way when you, you make your next order, I know that I've got a template on file for you here. I can see your previous order. I reach in your file, I grab your template, I put it with your hair. And actually who just came to the door was the stylist. Um, <clears throat> we send the, uh, the unit to the stylist, she cuts it and it's on its way to you. It saves you about a week, a week extra of time from this and shipping costs back and forth with one template. So definitely duplicate that template. I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, that's really it. I hope that information guides you guys through the, hey, I'm new, I want to get started, but I don't know what to do process. Um, subscribe below. It's super important to me. If you made it this far through the video, I am grateful. And, uh, and we're going to keep trying to have great hair. So that's what I got today, guys. MHE, um, hairbymhe.com. And you can always reach out to me and I'll help. Thank you.